If you're gaming on Linux, you're probably familiar with the Proton compatibility layer, which uses Wine to facilitate the compatibility translation. Basically, it allows you to play games that would normally only work on Windows, games that are native to Windows, on Linux. Now, installing Proton really isn't too complicated. You basically just have to click through a couple of options within Steam, but Proton is open source software. And like all open source software, the source code is available, which means anybody who has the knowledge to improve upon this software uh, or has the time as well to improve upon the software can do so. And that's what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about Glorious Egg Roll, who is one of these people that actually has the knowledge and took the time to improve upon the Proton compatibility layer. And he has done so with this GitHub repo uh, right here, Proton GE Custom. GE, of course, stands for Glorious Egg Roll. And it mostly contains a lot of fixes and patches for various games that I guess Valve themselves hasn't really had the time or they don't see it worth the effort maybe to actually fix these and improve upon it so that people can game on Linux. So you can see a bunch of the bug fixes that exist here and you can download this compatibility layer from the releases page. So we have it right here. Uh, you can see that uh, this one here, which actually uh, is a more updated one because he just released it yesterday. Uh, Glorious Egg Roll, he's really on top of things. He's constantly creating releases for uh, this Proton compatibility layer. But real quick, I'm going to show you guys how you can install this and build it into Steam so that you can get better performance in your games. And then we're going to do a little bit of benchmarking uh, with Grand Theft Auto V, a game that normally would only work on Windows, to see if we actually do get better performance. So the first thing you're going to want to do is download this tarball. So you can go ahead and save that into your downloads folder. And then once you have that downloaded, we then need to extract it into our Steam root folder. So what you're going to use is this command. Um, of course, point it to whatever directory it actually downloaded to if you know downloads isn't your download directory. And then we're gonna specify the path. So this should be your Steam root if you installed things normally. If you did it in a different way, then obviously you gotta point it to wherever that path is for Steam. So then you go ahead and extract it here. And once you've done that, you then have to restart Steam. So you're gonna to want to close out of Steam here and you're also going to want to exit Steam uh, from your system tray. So you wanna make sure that it's not running at all in order for this application to work for it to show up. So now that I've rebooted Steam, uh, we can go over into our games library and then um, whenever you go into a game that you would use the Proton compatibility layer on, again, GTA 5 is the one I'm gonna use it for, uh, you can go to properties and then when you go down here to click the box to force use the specific Steam Play compatibility tool, you'll see Proton GE 5.9 or whichever one you downloaded because as you saw, Glorious Egg Roll, he's doing a whole lot of releases on this. He's really staying on top of it. And it's a really important project because gaming is one of the things that I see from so many people as... I guess an excuse for why they can't use Linux is because they need to play their video games, even though it is definitely possible to do so, at least with most games uh, in Linux. So you wanna go ahead and select that and then close it. And then let's start up GTA 5 and see if we actually do get better performance with this compatibility layer. So first we'll actually do the benchmark test since um, there obviously is a benchmark test that's built into GTA 5, goes through a couple of scenes, and so we'll see how that runs. So 
So as you can see, we get pretty consistent frame rates, 60 frames a second. Um, it would be more if I didn't have V-Sync enabled, but I've only got a 60 hertz screen anyway, so I don't really get any benefit from having a higher frame rate. And even when there's weather, rain, we still consistently get that 60 frames per second. And then even when there's other things moving and there's animations going on like with the flag there and we have the fast day and night cycle still get 60 frames a second so it's pretty good but of course a benchmark test isn't really as good as a real test as some actual gameplay so let's go ahead and do that see if we still get some good consistent frame rates all right so we're loaded into the game now and let's just go ahead and do some driving because, of course, that's one of the best ways that you can test the performance, right? Especially if you're going to drive really fast with Franklin. causes the game to have to keep loading in the map really quickly. Uh, so let's go somewhere over here. So far everything's pretty smooth, and we're in the city where there's going to be more objects loading in. This is a nicer car. I think I'll take this one instead. I'm sure this person won't mind. Don't become no murder case now, nigga. Oh, mother God. You little, little shit. shit. God, what? Hey, come on, move! Eh, I didn't need that door anyway. driving real fast now and so far it still doesn't look like the game is stuttering at all and I actually have a couple of other applications open too I've got a few Firefox windows open um, I've got previews on for OBS so I could probably turn all that stuff off if, um, you know, if you're really just trying to game, if you're not actually trying to record gameplay, and then obviously you don't need the browser windows to be open. Everything is real smooth right now. And if you guys want a comparison to regular Proton, uh, I have some gameplay of GTA 5. It's the first one that I have on my channel. So that was before I got Glorious Egg Roll. And that way you can see the difference. There's a lot of stuttering. I don't even know why Simeon's calling me when this dude fired me already. Uh, but yeah, you can compare that and you can see things would get real choppy when I was driving this fast. It wouldn't be good. I 
might even have to try turning the effects up a little bit. Could probably get away with doing that. Alright, let's see if I can jump in the military base. That way the tanks can shoot at me and we'll get some explosions going. That usually caused the game to lag a little bit. Alright, Lamar's gonna call me anyway. Or I'm gonna call Lamar, rather. This your boy LD, long dick, holla at Oh, they hit my tires. This is not gonna be good. All right, let's see if I can hop up in this jet real quick. Oh, nobody's guarding it. Usually there's somebody here guarding the thing. Let's see, can I get out before a tank blows me up? Hear him. This is U.S. Army Air State. Divert, or we will take you down. Ooh. How did I not get a parachute? <laughs> anyway, as you can see, falling through the air, explosions and everything, we still got a smooth 60 frames a second. So. If you're getting crappy performance in your games, definitely check out Glorious Egg Roll. His fork of the Proton compatibility layer is much more superior to Valve's. I don't know why Valve doesn't just hire the guy and give him a whole bunch of money and really let him direct things, because obviously he's doing a better job than all of them are. Uh, but I think you get the point. Glorious Egg Roll, Steam compatibility layer. It's a necessity for gaming on Linux. Peace out, guys.